Political live streamer Destiny has been having a field day on the internet ever since the Trump assassination attempt took place. As soon as the assassination attempt happened, he came to X and made a post that said a person in a crowd cheering for and supporting a traitor to this country caught a stray. I'm so sad, please. So clearly this is a sick, demented, um, messed up, wicked person. Right. This is obviously a very inappropriate thing to say, but he has been doubling down on this stance. He's been on the Internet making it very clear that he does not feel bad for the innocent man that was murdered. Corey Comperator. He does not feel bad that Trump almost got his head blown off. He does not show any sympathy for any aspect of this situation at all. He then did a live stream where he doubled down on his stance and he told his viewers that if any of his conservative viewers would have been in that audience and would have been murdered as well, he would have laughed at them too. Fuck it, fuck the dude, um, the firefighter guy, uh, fuck Trump, fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am 100%. So it is obvious that his hate for Trump his hate for conservatives has made it to where he can't even show sympathy for someone whose political views don't align with his. This is a messed up person, right? I'm not the biggest fan of liberals. I'm not the biggest fan of Biden. But if a liberal is shot and killed at a Joe Biden rally, I'm not going to go on the internet and have a field day. Destiny was recently on Pierce Morgan and Pierce Morgan was questioning him about these ridiculous statements that he was making on the internet. And Destiny refused to back down. He was going to fight to the ends of planet Earth to make sure everyone knows he is not capable of feeling sorry for a Trump supporter. Yeah, but you, when you, you are, when you no, are Destiny, in a let me explain world to you. where conservatives can say anything. No, I'm not a conservative. They can have any conspiracy theory. I'm not a conservative. They can have any plot. They can do any of these things. And then, and then liberals are supposed right, Destiny, to say, Destiny, oh my no. God, it's so tragic. No, Destiny, Absolutely not. Let me explain, Absolutely. Let me explain my position, because I'm not a conservative. I'm not, I'm not on either side in your race, right? Here's what I think about what you did. You'd like to fire off, as you've done so far in this debate, about your fury at how disgusting... Republicans are, how inhumane they are, how they never have any empathy, blah, 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 blah. And then you yourself actually are exactly the, the person that you're describing. You are inhuman. You are somebody who seems almost gleeful that a young firefighter with a family, with a wife and children, who he was protecting as he was shot dead, that he deserved what was coming to him because he went to a President Trump rally a man who was president of the United States until recently for four years and maybe again. You sound almost gleeful, Destin, and I'm sorry. That makes you, frankly, despicable. I don't think I'm gleeful about anything. I you don't are. think anybody should die. I don't think anybody deserves to die. But you want to talk about gleeful? Look at the conservative response to Pelosi's husband no, no. when they broke in. I can there answer are that. Mainstream media figures I can answer that. that. Were, I don't care. I can answer that. With all due I respect, think, I don't care what your let answer, me answer is. That. The reality is, is that conservatives have been turning the temperature up on the rhetoric. They have been making fun of these types of events for years, and now when something happens to them, now they're they're looking for for uh, for sympathy from mm. the liberal side. Absolutely not. It's insane. And it's unhinged yeah, that you can conduct problem. yourself in such a manner but and here's expect the people problem. to feel sorry when things happen. Why should, why should anybody on the right listen to a word of your hectoring and lecturing about how they should behave? And by the way, for the record, the mockery of Nancy Pelosi's husband when he was attacked by an intruder with a hammer was also despicable, right? I, I can see despicable behaviour on all sides, and I'm happy to call it out when I see it. You, however, want to present yourself as this great kind of standard bearer of decency, who sees outrageous behavior on the right time and again and is incensed by this disgusting, inhumane behavior. I'm, and yet I'm time sorry, and no, no. again, I, since the attempted assassination I, of Donald Trump, you have displayed exactly the same kind of inhumane behavior. Fuck him about a, a fireman who is who is killed because he attends a rally of a guy yeah, he wants to vote with, for. My issue, with the, my issue with the MAGA kids is not that they are not empathetic. My issue is that they support a president that led an insurrection against the United States. I'm not here to tone police over their empathy. 18 I'm million just people voted for, for empathy, Donald Trump last time around. Saying, that's great. 80 million people voted for a guy that tried to insurrect the government, mm. and it looks like they might try to do it again. I mean, like, I don't know what you want me to say. That's, these are the facts on the ground. Um, the idea that so these you don't people like, you don't like attacks on you don't like attacks on democracy. So presumably, you would unreservedly 
candidly condemn the attempted assassination of Donald Trump because that's one of the most egregious attacks on American democracy of modern times. Presumably, I don't think that you will take this opportunity, to, given you I, I are so anybody... determined to protect the integrity of democracy, you would find it absolutely outrageous that someone has tried to assassinate a president, right? If, if the other conservatives on this show want to say that it was absolutely outrageous that Donald you. Trump attempted the coup of the government, I'm asking then, you. I, then maybe then I would. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get on my knees and, and, and beg for uh, forgiveness or, or show sympathy I'm to conservatives. To, I'm not none. asking for that. I'm asking you to condemn what happened as an egregious attack on, on democracy. Can you do that? No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't you can't do that. that. You see, not so anymore. why the hell, absolutely frankly, not. Destiny, absolutely not. why absolutely the hell not. should we absolutely listen to a not. word you have to say Wait, about... Wait, hold on. Why do you think conservatives haven't been listening to a word that liberals have said about anything for eight years? Right, what do you think why is going to change? They? You think but that if liberals point, come out Destiny. now and they go, oh my God, this was so horrible, but here's they're going to go, wow, that is true. Maybe that's why also like... Charlie, I'll bring you in at the end of this, I promise you, and you'll get a good chance to respond. But here's my problem, Destiny, with your whole position on this right is that you don't actually have anything inside you that you want the other side to have you don't have any of the empathy you don't have any yes. sympathy you don't care that someone tried to assassinate I'm not donald trump for you don't care and that sympathy. a young fireman you don't, you with a family was killed in the process that. you don't Just actually don't you, you are not the person you want these other other people to be and all you do is play what a battery with every question i give you and I'm just stopping. Well, it's not some... what about it. We're talking about Donald Trump. We're talking about the temperature of this country. But here's a question for the two panelists. What percentage of this event happening was due to Donald Trump's rhetoric? What do they think the answer to that question is? What percentage could it be that the, the other side, Very as little. we've just heard from Dave Rubin, has spent eight years calling Donald Trump the new Adolf Hitler, a person who was responsible for the murder of 12 million people, including 6 million Jewish people in a Holocaust. Last time I checked, Donald Trump hasn't murdered 12 million people. So much as you would like him to be the new Hitler, he's not. But again, to an impressionable young deranged mind who has easy access to guns, that can be easily interpreted as an existential threat, said President Biden. Somebody that needs to be put in the bullseye, said Biden. Okay, Only I'm last curious. week. I'm curious. And guess what? Who, who do you think, who guess do you what? think, who do you think is engaged in Somebody then comes forward and device, tries to kill the existential threat. Pierce Morgan was on fire in that video. That is probably one of the best Pierce Morgan moments I've seen. I don't agree with everything I've heard Pierce Morgan say, but objectively speaking, he was on fire right there and then destiny tried to turn it all on trump i've seen the left-wing media do that this whole time how much of this is trump responsible for i mean his rhetoric is so divisive he makes people want to kill him that is ridiculous the media if anyone is the one whose rhetoric caused this like pierce morgan just said ever since trump first announced he was running for president he's been labeled hitler he's been labeled a dictator he's been called a threat to democracy He's been called any and every name in the book. And like Pierce just said, a young impressionable mind, like that kid with that rifle that tried to kill him, absorbing all of this negative information about this individual for so long, can easily begin to think that that person is actually a genuine threat to himself and to society and to everything that he knows. The media amplified this. The media is, if we're going to point the fingers at anyone, it should be the media, not Trump. You know, Destiny is just completely out of his league here. And then something that's really funny about that video we just watched, it really gave the vibe of like a father talking to his son and his son is just throwing a tantrum the whole time. Pierce is just coming with logic and fact and objective truth and Destiny is like, but what about, what about this? What about that? I want to be right. That's actually very embarrassing for him on his behalf. He did not look good in that altercation. But shout out to Pierce Morgan for handling that very well. I honestly, I got to give props to him for that. That was the perfect way to handle destiny in that situation. Because like Pierce also said, you keep preaching that people on the right have no sympathy. But you're showing right now that you don't even have the sympathy that you're accusing the other side of not having. So therefore, everything you're saying is irrelevant. If, if I steal all the time, I just steal things from people, and then I point fingers at people and tell them not to steal, why would anyone listen to me? And the equivalent to that, destiny, if you constantly show no sympathy 
If you constantly are behaving in a divisive way, why would the people that you claim are so divisive take any advice from you on being less divisive? That makes zero sense. <sighs> Anyways, people on the left, Exhibit A, Destiny, have been behaving very inappropriately ever since the Trump assassination attempt took place. I just made a video a couple of days ago of leftists on the internet celebrating the fact that Trump was almost murdered, and Destiny is the perfect representation of how they've been behaving. It's disgusting, it's despicable, but unfortunately it's not surprising. They tend to behave in a very radical way like this. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel, and be on the lookout. There's a lot more videos coming very soon.